Welcome to the new tutorial. Today I want to show you how to make a Candlefire particular system in UDK. For that, type in Candlefire in Google. Then choose any Candlefire picture you like. You can choose this one here or this one. But I will choose this one here. So we save it. And open it with Photoshop. Now in here, select it with the quick selection tool. Control C and go to File, New, 512 to 512. Fill the background with the black color, so choose the black color and fill it with the bucket and copy and paste it. Okay, now a candle fire is in the picture. Now go to File, Save As, choose Targa, so TGA, and save it under Candle Fire TGA and save. 32 bits. Then close Photoshop. Open the Targa file. Go to the channels and delete the alpha channel. Now duplicate one of these channels, so either the red, the green, the blue. I will duplicate the red one because there we see many. Then duplicate it, so duplicate channel. And select it. Now go to image, adjustments, levels. Now put the first error a little bit down and the two others to the max. And OK. And save. Now open UDK. So UDK and open it. Then import your texture. So import desktop candle fire. And OK to Then right click onto the texture and create new material and then go into the material editor. Now in here, connect the texture sample with the diffuse, so the black with diffuse, and the alpha channel, so the white with opacity. Then down here choose blend mode, additive. Okay. Now here we see our candle fire. Now add a multiply, so mul. I connect the multiply with the emissive because we want that the candle fire is shining a little bit. So connect it with the emissive, then add a constant 3 vector. Connect the texture sample to the black with A and the constant 3 with B. Now in the constant 3 you can choose a color that you like. So in this color the candle fire will shine. When you type in 10, 10, 10, then it will shine. Yeah. In this color. You can type in any number you like, just play around with this. I will take 10, 10, 10. And then, OK. Now do a right click, a new particular system. Give it a name, let's say Candle Fire Blum. And OK. So in here, you have to go to Spawn, and at rate, you have to type in 100, and at constant, 1.0. No, it's 0.1, sorry. Then go to Life, then go to, yeah, right click, Location, and then Direct Location, because we want that the fire stays at the zero point. Now another right click, Orbit, Orbit. Now in the Orbit options, you have to go to Offset, Offset Amount, Distribution, and then to Max. Here you type in 0 0.3, 0 0.3, 0 0.3. Now see, it rotates a little bit, and this makes the effect. You can also type in 0, 0, and 0 0.3, and it rotates like this. Here you can just play around, and you can choose any settings you like. I will choose 0 0.3 at, yeah, at C, you can also type in 0 0.3. So as I said, here you can try around. Okay, and that's it. Now close it, open a new level. Then I will add a BSP brush and now add your particular system. And here it is. You can see it moves a little bit when you go far away, it also moves a little bit. And just when you go very, very near, you see how it moves. So down here, the black thing and the, there where you can see how it moves like, you can also delete this in Photoshop. So just go into Photoshop. 
choose two black colors and delete this here. Then you can avoid this black thing here. So thank you for watching and until next time.